We're live? We're live. Hey folks, Chef Jay here, and this is Late to Plate. How you doing today, the Torn? Do you know we're on episode 8? We're on episode 8. Quick time so you know what that means, eh? What's that? We have a whisk this week! I don't know if anybody watched when one I was in Fort McMurray. Well, I was just telling you about Fort McMurray. Anyways, this, this whisk, as you can tell, has some duct tape around it. It was my microphone, and I used to do a show in Fort McMurray with my sous chef, Maddie Burner, Brunner, who I used to call the walrus, because <laughs> he looks like a walrus. Maddie, if you're watching, you're a walrus. That's a compliment. And you're hairy. Anyways, and then... Sounds more like a bear. Well, maybe, well, he is in southern Ontario. And then I had a camera guy before you came along. I had a camera guy named Jeffrey SQ, who's in uh, Vancouver right now. And I had, uh, who else did I have? I had Mama Laverne, who was uh, our great and talented dishwasher slash uh, caterer slash brought the food to the places slash kept me in line slash, I miss Mama Laverne. I love you, Mama Laverne. Uh, and who else did we have? Oh, we had Ben Lowry, the great and talented Ben Lowry, who now, actually, he came here. You might have met Ben. Did you meet Ben? Was he the guy on the motorcycle? No, that was, uh, uh that was Eric. Hi, Eric. Uh, no, this was Ben Lowry. He, uh, now works at Suncor or Syncrude or something like that. Anyways, I fired him for eating too much food or he quit or something. Well, now he's making more money than either He's of making us. more money. Than hey, Ben, do you want to invest in freshwater cuisine? So anyway, I used to do this show called, Hey, folks, we're live. It's a Channel 10 News Flash. Ba -da -da -da. And then we go around and talk into the whiskey. It was so cool, wasn't it? Do you have a nicer camera? Uh, actually, no. We used the iPhone 4, so it was quite a while wow. ago. Hey, that's crazy. So anyways, but hey, Mo, you couldn't kick us down. We got a new whisk in town. And actually, we got a whole bunch of new uh, equipment, don't we? Look at all this new equipment. You think Moe's watching from Northwest Angle, Minnesota? Hey, Mo, out there in North, Northwest Angle, Minnesota, you should probably come to the Canada side because Lake, or uh, what's it called, Hurricane Irma? I don't think it's that close. It's <laughs> not that close, is it? <laughs> hey, did you see this, though? What so, do we got there? So this is uh, this is Jay when he weighed 180 pounds. Speaking of walruses. <laughs> <laughs> There's the walrus. This was the first uh, first time I ever made ever made this is the first time i ever made the front of a newspaper without being busted with drugs isn't that crazy anyways uh ron uh ron Ede, who uh, passed away a few years ago uh, heard my story in ottawa when i was in ottawa and uh god bless his soul that he actually produced uh this two-page article on uh on me and my life and and uh there's me hard at work it says tv series coming soon 2009 that's a little late isn't it <laughs> Wait, what year is it? Like eight years later. <laughs> eight, eight, eight years later. And I don't think anyone considers this a real TV series. Just... No, I don't think so either. You know what's kind of funny? You missed this one. This was on. This was in the newspaper the day before. It says, Recipe for Recovery. Chris Barnard. <laughs> wow. Chris Barnard. Hmm, I guess I'm Chris too. Anyways, Ronnie, thank you for uh, doing this uh, beautiful article that I still have today, which is kind of cool, isn't it? So, um, what happened this week? It really wasn't that exciting. Wasn't that exciting? No. Well, we got it. We had an employee, then we lost an employee. Oh, made it for four and a half days. <laughs> it's got to be a record. We'll miss you, Lyle. Yeah, we'll miss you, Lyle. Uh, what else happened? Oh, next weekend we're in Thunder Bay at the Savior Superior. Yeah, that's I'm exciting. Excited. That is exciting. I'm really excited. Our second year to go to Savior Superior. Uh, we're doing we're doing a live demo on the Saturday from nine to ten. We're closing out the show. We're closing out the show. Walleye, well, <laughs> walleye wings is closing up. Hey, what happened to freshwater cuisine? Uh, anyways, we're closing out the show. We're doing three types of walleye wings. Uh, we might pair up with Taraz because Taraz will be there too because Taraz has a booth at Savior Superior. So we love supporting local. Taraz has the best beer because I've drank so much of it. Right, Torn. I don't know. I'm hoping I get some more free samples. You, get, you might get some free samples. And, you know, since I'm an alcoholic, he won't give me any. I don't understand why. But uh, So Traz is going to be there. We're going to do a beer-battered walleye wing. We're going to do... Maybe we'll pair up... Who are we pairing up with today? Oh, that's my good friend. Who's your good friend? Grace Ward of Crazy Good Spices. Crazy Good Spices. So I don't know, uh, Grace, what uh, spice... Actually, I do know what spice we're going to use. So she has all kinds here. She has a jalapeno spice. She has a savior poultry a citrus dill, she has a homestyle rub, she has a barbecue rub. This one right here catches my eye, eh? 
Grace's favorite. Well, if it's Grace's favorite, it's got to be the chef's favorite, eh? So we're going to use Grace's favorite spice today. Uh, what are we cooking with? Oh, we're, well, you said we had four weeks in a row of Northern Pikes. So four if I were a betting man. Four weeks in a row. I don't lie. Four weeks in a row. This is Northern Pike, isn't it? Uh, my mother donated this beautiful crystal plate. I had to put it on the crystal because 1970 was calling and she said, hey, Jay, do you want the crystal? I was like, all right, let's get some crystal on. Uh, not it, crystal meth, right? <laughs> not crystal meth. Um, also, she donated these beautiful plastic. <laughs> Love you, Mom. Well, I hope Mo enjoys this nice ladle down in Northwest yeah. Kendall. Yeah, Mo. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, we're cooking with Northern Pike. Is that exciting? That's great. You can't go wrong with Northern Pike. Northern Pike is the most beautiful fish that's so underrated, so underappreciated, so so undervalued, isn't it? Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, the fillets are beautiful, not so much the fish itself. Well, yeah, if you can get past the slime and you can get past the teeth and you can get past the head and you can get past the tangled up in your net and you can get past, and if you can get past all that stuff, you end up with a very sex like. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, that's that's, <laughs> that's beautiful, isn't it? Um, so this is Northern Pike. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do an actual. We're gonna do a gluten-free Northern Pike slider. Was it a slider? Cake, burger. I hate the word cake. We need to find a new name for. Cake. So they're buns. No, we have no buns. No, so it's not really a burger. It's not really a burger. So we're gonna do a Northern Pike slider, gluten-free though. Uh, I was down at the at the farmers market today and got some sexy local ingredients. Here we got uh, the purple onions, we got the the green onions, we got the parsley, we got some radishes. How about radishes? Radishes are in season right now. Look at the color of these peppers, Torn. Aren't that beautiful? I like the purple one. Yeah. So those came from good old Waldorf. 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 Uh, Honey yeah. Mill Farms. Honey Mill Farms. Uh, we got some shard greens today from Fifth Avenue. You know, I love those guys down at Fifth Avenue Farms. Uh, you know, they got an amazing business, and uh, I love supporting them. I love what they're doing. I love how these things make our plates look uh, phenomenal, eh? And then we got some tomatoes and chilies and some thyme from our great friend, Sierra Brown, who is... Uh, top five employee. She's a top five employee. Since we have seven, she's top five. <laughs> Anyways, top five employee. She does some growing, and uh, she gave us some of these beautiful tomatoes and this beautiful thyme. We also have this uh, wonderful pineapple that's local too. This came yeah. from Kuwaitan Place and our good friends um, Scott and Gwen. Can't forget about Al. Al! My good friend Al the Butcher. Al, we're friends now, aren't we Al? Yeah, me and Al are friends. Uh, so we're going to do, uh, like I said, Torn, we're going to do a gluten-free uh, Northern Pike cake. We're going to top it off with some nice pine grilled, grilled pineapple uh, salsa. We're going to use some of Grace's spice in it. And uh, what else is happening? I think it's time to get cooking. That's about it. Hey, nothing else happened this week, eh? That was a pretty slow week. Pretty slow week, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so we already, got the, we already got the Northern Pike cleaned. Nicely cleaned here. Folks, this is so easy. If you can get it cleaned, now all you got to do... Where can you get a clean pike fillet? Well, if you head out to uh, 18 Sunnyside Road... Here at uh, Freshwater Cuisine Headquarters, our uh, very talented filleter, Mr. Joe Boucher, does a phenomenal job, doesn't he? Oh, he does a great he pike. Does a great pike job. Uh, we will sell you Northern Pike. Is that crazy? Oh, we'll sell you whatever you want, really. Well, yeah, well, yeah, we'll sell you whatever you want. You want to buy our Hamilton Beach Grill because they never called us back? We'll sell that too. Anyways, uh... <laughs> we'll sell you Moe's bed. <laughs> sell you Moe's bed. Okay, so, hey, look, we have it. Look at this torn. What is this? We have a KitchenAid in the house no, today. Maybe they'll sponsor us. Okay, KitchenAid, if you're watching, please give us an email at sales at Freshwater Cuisine, uh, CCJ at Freshwater Cuisine, and Torrin at Freshwater Cuisine, and we'll get back to you because we're starting to use your equipment now. Look at this neat little thing on top, Torrin. What Nifty. is that for? A little meat grinding action? A little meat grinding action. So, that's what we're using today. We're using the KitchenAid. I got the grinder attachment. The best thing about KitchenAid is they come with all the attachments. This is in-house. This is how easy this is. This has already been filleted. It's already been boned. The Y bone's out. The rib bone's out. Now we're just going to do this, Torn. Cutting it in half. 
Cutting it in half. This is it. These are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, they are nice. Gonna make a lot of cakes here, I think. Feed the staff? I think I'm gonna feed the staff. Or you know what? If there's any viewers watching, and there's you wanna four. make it a... <laughs> there's four. Four viewers. Hello, four viewers! Why don't you tag other people in it so they can see this guy named uh, Chef J. Bernard and the camera gay... Hammer... Wow. Camera gay? Camera guy torn. Anyways, we're cutting this in half like this. It's a lot of pike. It's a lot of pike. That was that was four fillets, two fish. Crazy, eh? So all we're gonna do is we're gonna get our plate, put it back on here. <clears throat> this is the easy part, Torn. Now we just grind it down. The beautiful thing about pike is it's got a natural uh, fat in it, right? So here we go. Turn it on. In she goes. There it is. That's something. So we're just going to keep sending it through. I love the handle here too. Look at that. You can actually use it. Hey, here's a question for you, Torn. You think they're doing this at Canadian Freshwater Fish? <laughs> That's say so. I don't know. Maybe they'll steal this idea then. Anyways. Here it goes in. So how handy is this, eh, Torn? Oh, I'm better than shoving your hand in the grinder. Well, way better than that. It's a KitchenAid attachment, right? It can go right in your kitchen. Now you're just making ground pike. You can do this with all kinds of fish. You can do it with walleye. You can do it with perch. You can do it with sucker. You can do it with uh, silver bass. Can you do it with I, I probably wouldn't use silver bass. You wouldn't use silver bass, would you? So, this is this is way cool, isn't it? We have our own grinder right in our own kitchen. How easy is this? We can grind anything. Huh? You can. That's what I'm saying. So like this, oh, and these can get turned into anything. These don't have to just be cakes. You can make ball, meatball, fish balls out of these. You can do anything. We can do a pike sausage. You can do a pike sausage. You can do a... Uh... Look at that. You can do a oh. pike ravioli. <laughs> isn't that beautiful, eh? Boom. So there it is, ground pike. It took us what? 10 seconds. Ten Maybe seconds. more, I don't, I don't know. Probably 28 seconds. Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add some of our ingredients. So we're gonna cut up some pepper. Let's probably put this over here, eh? James Ellard at the Innovation Center, so he's watching us right now. James Ellard? Him and Kendall. Kendall? Really? Yeah. Are we that famous that the Innovation Center's watching us? Yeah, I hear Judy's out of town and they're just uh, slacking. Mm. What about Nicole? Is she around? Yeah, uh, I think she's slacking at the library. Oh, Nicole. Okay, so we got some nut. Like, you know what the beautiful thing is about this time of year, too, Torn? Is that the uh, produce. Like, look how fresh and how colorful these peppers are. Okay, so we're just dicing these up. We can add this to our mix. You can use whatever you really want to use. I just like using peppers. Like, ugh. Purple pepper too. Isn't that cool? A, a bit pepper. of color. Have you ever seen a purple pepper before? Peter picked purple peppers. <laughs> Peter picked purple peppers? It's a tongue twister. It is a tongue twister. I say it ten times. I can barely say it once. I know, me too. Man, the smell of fresh produce at this time of year is amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, I love it. Okay, so we're just cutting, cutting. I got my grill set on uh, 400 for when I want to go do the... Uh, Right after this, we're hopping into the uh, grilled pineapple salsa. So we got a little sweet pepper here. This one isn't hot, Torn. No. Oh. This is a sweet pepper. So you can burn it without clearing out the house. <clears throat> yeah, I guess last time, eh, we uh, had a little bit of fun there. Oh, you gasped me. I gasped you. Yeah, you're not a chef, are you? Clearly. Clearly. So, same thing. This is beautiful, Torn. What else are we going to put in here? Well, I don't know. You get a whole freaking thing to pick from. Well, let's take some of the uh, ends of the... T hey, look how easy this is. Oh, man. The smell of those are... Beautiful. What else are we going to put in there? Parsley? A little parsley. A little parsley. 
Hey, are we making this recipe up as we go? I, I'm pretty positive <laughs> you are. What about these little chilies? What are you doing with them? I was thinking in? about tossing them in there, but uh, you know what I think I'm going to do with those? I've really been contemplating on doing an episode around crepes. Ooh, but I don't get how chili peppers go with crepes. Well, I was going to blitz them down, put them in the crepe batter, and do like a chili crepe with fish in it. Ooh, that'd be interesting. That's an interesting one, eh? Okay, so, what do we got there? Anything else we can put in there? Uh, I think that's good, yeah. eh? Okay, so, right in. Oh, I know what we can put in there. What's that? Garlic. Oh, yeah. How do we forget the garlic? we got to put the garlic in there. I guess we need put, our crazy good spices, too. Put the salt in there. Put some pepper in there. Hey, we got pepper this week. Mo returned the pepper. Oh, did he airmail it? <laughs> Here's some, uh, some local chopped garlic, eh? Yeah, you know, it doesn't look too local as you pull it out of the uh, fridge. The fridge well, in the I cut container. It up. I cut it off. Oh. Cut it up and put it in the bottle. What's no. wrong with that? Nothing? Nothing wrong with that. I don't think so. Boom, gee. Okay, and then we're going to take some of... Uh, here we go. Have you ever tried this? Grace's favorite? Yeah. That's my favorite, too. Is it? Yeah. Put you it in my sauce. This? Is it, eh? Yeah. Hmm. All right. I just feel like you're making up Say all these when. measurements. When? When? When. Well, this is the good thing about uh, Lake to Plate. We just make recipes up as we go. Well, here's another one. Uh, yeah. okay. No whisk? No, no whisk yet. Look at this one. The, good, the wicked thing about Northern Pike is it just holds itself together. Why would you need a breading on that? Why would you? Like, look at it. Look at the color. Nice color. Look at that. Amazing, isn't it? it smells beautiful. Okay, Torn, I need your help. Oh. Toss in this secret. Can you use your hand? I, I, got, I got an extra hand. Okay, you're going to have to whip that in there. What Can am I whip? That, just, that's the secret. To, uh, just toss a little bit in there. There you go. Keep her going. I feel uh, like real, that's I, good. Am I a chef now? That you made the cut. Did I get my red seal? You got the red seal. Oh, what was that? Everybody's asking, what was that? <laughs> Isn't that something, eh, Torn? Beautiful. Okay. Now, we'll just make... Just that simple. It's that simple. It's that simple, folks. If you're not using Northern Pike, if you're not trying to use Northern Pike, or if you're not open-minded enough to try something new, this is uh, this is as local as it gets, isn't it? Local vegetables with local fish. This is gluten-free, wild-caught. Does it get any better than that? It's no, probably actually looking, healthy, too. It's very healthy. Like, and, and, and because of the natural fats and the natural... Acids in the fish, it just stays right together. What should we do? Three of them? Might as well do three. <clears throat> I got a whole bunch for the staff. James wants to know what the sauce was. He's very curious. James, it's a secret sauce. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Stay tuned to next week and you'll find out what the sauce is. Well, it's in a scotch. <laughs> it's in a scotch cup. Could it be scotch? It was a little thick for scotch well, and what dark. If, what if you cooked it down? Well, maybe. Okay, there we go. So, uh, here's a question for you. What are we doing at Savior Superior? Well, that's a great question. So you just came up with the recipe the other day, and you're ready to launch it, aren't you? Uh, well, my good friend, uh, my good friend Peter... And I came up with the recipe. We're going to be doing... Uh, we'll get back to this, eh, Torn? Yeah, I'll leave that for later. Uh, we're going to be doing a northern pike cake dipped in a maple chili sauce with a pickle on it. So what are you calling it? Uh, Thunder Bay Hotfish. Now that's a play on... <laughs> our, uh... 
our buddy, wait, what's his name there? What? Matt Vasily. Yeah. At uh, actually, you know what? Matt should get a shout. Matt should get a good sh shout out right now because I don't know if any has anybody watched the show on Netflix, Rebel in the Kitchen. Matt, wicked show. Hope to give you a season two. Uh, love to see all the excitement with the catering because I exactly know what it feels like to be in a shit show. I understand that one. It's amazing, great show. You know, it's awesome to see it grow. It was awesome to see you get your food truck and you're doing big things in Thunder Bay. Toronto. Toronto. Much bigger than Thunder Bay. Right, Toronto. Why is Thunder Bay? Oh, because we're going there for Savior Superior. Right. Toronto, you're doing big things. Uh, and you launched our Northern Pike Cakes at the RC show. Right? So that's amazing. Oh, they were delicious. Nashville hot fish. Nashville hot fish. Okay, so we're just going to put some oil in here, Torn. We're going to get our pan hot so that we can start cooking the uh, pike cakes. Okay, we're going to move into the uh, grilled pineapple salsa. It's a big pineapple. Yeah. Al grills big ones over there at Community Place. Just in the back room? Yeah, they have a greenhouse over there, actually. Yeah. I've yet to see it. Yeah, eh? Ask Al to take you on a tour. Well, we're not friends, so I don't get to go on tours. <laughs> well, Al dropped off some Filipino food the other day, he didn't did, he? He did, because you're friends. Oh, okay. He was probably expecting some fish in return. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> okay, so we just take out the core. We got our grill set on uh, 400. That's how easy this is. Oh, sizzle. You know when McDonald's, back in the, like whenever they came out with, when they were debating what burger to have for the Catholics on Friday, they went between the filet fish and a grilled pineapple burger? Really? Yeah. filet fish one. filet fish Bet you they don't use freshwater fish, though. I bet you they don't. Torn, how easy was that? Well, it's just that simple. It was that simple, wasn't it? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this bowl here, and we're going to put the... Uh... You know what I'm going to do? I saw these down at the market today, so I couldn't say no. Local radishes are going in our... As I go. <laughs> it's very tropical in here now. Yeah, that's what we want. <clears throat> okay, so we take our chili. I thought that was a sweet pepper. That too? Isn't it a sweet pepper chili? No. I, I don't know. You don't know? Huh. Hey, Torn, are you here next week? No, I'm back in Thunder Bay. Oh, no. What are you doing in Thunder Bay? Oh, I'm getting ready for Save Spirit. Oh, Prep work. work. You got to go all week? No. Yeah. Who are we going to have tape next week? Uh, well, it's not Mo Nib. It's not Lyle. <laughs> Bonnie B, you coming back? Oh, I know who. The great and talented Brent Lundy. He's also the plant manager for the next, uh, next week. Yep. Yeah. Brent Lundy does a phenomenal job. We love Brent. Next week, though, he can hold the camera. The right Next way. week, he can hold the camera, and you know what? I'm going to let Brent pick a recipe. Brent doesn't like fish, though. Yeah, but he can pick a recipe. Oh, okay. Hopefully, it has fish in it. It might have fish. If we're lucky, eh? Getting any heat over here, Tom? Would you disconnect the... Not pay the hydro this week? <laughs> you didn't pay the hydro? I thought you were paying the high bro. That could be the problem. Here we go. We got some grill marks on our radishes. Look at that. Mm. Grill mark on the pineapple. That's a golden pineapple. That is golden. Look at that. It's just this easy. You know what's cool about us, Torn? Is everything is so easy to do. We can do this at home. You can do this at home. Hardest part's getting your northern pipe. Well, is it really that hard to get the northern pipe? Well, if you're in Kenora, it's pretty easy. Hey, I heard we're in uh, Top Chef Thunder Bay, too. And we are. That's, that's a while away. November. November. Comes up quick, though. It is. I also heard there's a guy by the name of Chef Recovery speaking in Sudbury. Yeah. Is that true, too? That's also in November. <laughs> is it, there's a lot of stuff going on in November, isn't Busy it? November. Fish coming in, too. What else should we put in here? Uh, Some of this? I guess so. So we just want to cut our onions nice and uh, not too big, eh, Torrance? It's just a nice little chutney going on here. Do we put some garlic in there? Uh, I'm going to put some garlic oh. in there, yeah. The local garlic? The, lo the famous local garlic. 
Yeah, where did the local garlic go to? Uh, I think it's back in the fridge. <laughs> the local garlic. Do you think our viewers actually enjoy our back and forth, or do you think they just put up with us for the food? You know what? I think they might like it. Well, someone has to. Why don't you ask them? No. Well, do you guys like the back and forth? Or should Torn be on the camera with and, me? Well, I was just wondering if I should just hold the camera and shut my mouth. No, I don't think you should. Okay, taking the pineapple off. Look at how nice this is, Torn. The thing about when you grill... Oh. I, I, Those sound al dente. <clears throat> These are El Dante. Um, saw the radishes there, so I just went with it. <laughs> you can't say I've ever seen pineapple and radish put together. <laughs> just went with it. But you're the chef. Not so I. we're just going with it. We're just going to go with it. Hey, why is it so hot? Um, why did I go with the radish, eh? Hmm. What was there? And it's local. Couldn't say no to the radishes. From Waldorf Farms. You know what's uh, uh, Honey Mill Farms in Waldorf. Honey Farms in Waldorf. Is that the uh, farmer's market goes till the second week in October. Well, a lot of fresh produce for a while still. Yep. Put that in there. Okay, look at that. We're hot over here. We're hot over here. We're hot over here. Well, someone paid the hydro. Somebody paid the hydro. Okay, let's put these in. Woo! Let him go. Dice up the pineapple. Well, it's getting smoky in here now. We like it smoky. We're smoking the fish as we go, Tornado. Smoked grilled fish. Those smell good. Folks, this is gluten free. This is wild caught. This is local fish cake. Isn't that nice? Hey, when are we making fish stick nachos? <laughs> what are we making? Fish stick no nachos. Okay, that's there's the uh, chutney. We're going to save this one for the Staparoo, okay? Torrid, look at those! How easy was that? Oh, we're still, we don't have a final dish yet. No? What do you mean? We have a final dish. No. I'm coming to you right away. Okay, now we take some salt and pepper. Gonna use some local, uh... You know, you can make a good drinking game out of this show if you just drank every time you said the word local. How fast was that on the pipe cake? Done already. Done already. That's it. Well, I hope they truly are done. I don't want to be eating Northern Pike sushi. Why not? What's wrong with Northern Pike sushi? Maybe that could be an episode. Could be. Here we go. We're using some white wine vinegar. Want to give it a nice little sweet tart flavor in here. Then we're going to use our good friends at... Uh, Norwest Maple Co. Norwest Maple, straight from the Thunder Bay Mountains. Yeah, the Norwest Mountain Range. Really? Yeah. Throw some of that in there. A little shot of oil. That there. So that's a nice sweet salsa. It is. How nice is that? Look the color. Oh, that's beautiful. Plate. Where did I get this plate from? Uh, would it be your mom? Nope, not my mom. No. Okay, you know the one thing I want to do though? Not really since sure. my uh, beautiful and talented wife Julie was just out here, 
I want to do, I want to put her uh, sauce. Are you showing the, your well, I'm show, secret I'm, sauce? Well, I'm, I'm showing the main ingredient. That's it. Not going any farther than this. No. Folks, I made this mayonnaise this morning. That's his Miracle Whip. Oh, is it? Craft Miracle Whip. <laughs> wow. You keep the camera on that side because you... Don't want the viewers seeing the secret stuff in the fridge. Hmm. It appears the secret stuff got taken by Mon B. <laughs> oh. It's in Northwest Angle. Okay, so, folks, we're going with something new here. <laughs> okay, we're not going with something new. <laughs> okay, oh. we're... Okay, we're putting a little hot sauce in there. Oh, oh. It's like a poor man's aioli. It's a poor man's aioli. Where <laughs> Are, are okay. We, are we... oh. Hey, this might be a good opportunity to use some grace. And you know what? I want a shot of this. We're just all over the map here. Oh, we're going as we go here. Folks, we'll have the recipe up online in no time. Oh, that's nice. Look at that nice aioli. Poor man's aioli. Yeah, Mo took the secret ingredients. And everything else that wasn't bolted down. Isn't that beautiful? Very artsy, though. I love the artsy. Okay. Here we go, folks. You know what I like to do, though, Thorn? What's that? In your secret closet. I like to go hide. Hello! <laughs> this here. I like to just put these on here for a minute. Get the there we go. The oil. Then we take this torn. Oh man. What is that looking like, eh? That looks good. This might be the healthiest dish we've ever made on the show. Do you see the stance? He's ready. It's like I'm a football player. I'm going into the salsa. You go into the salsa. You put the salsa on top. Boom. Put the salsa in the fridge. Go to my good friends here at uh, Fifth Avenue Farms. This is Swiss Chard Greens today. Ooh. Wow. Now that looks good. Folks. I know it's fun and games with me and Torn, but we always produce something really sexy. This is a gluten-free northern pike cake paired up with Grace at uh, Crazy Good Spice. We used her, Grace's favorite spice. We used a grilled pineapple salsa using all local produce, finishing it off with the Swiss chard greens on top and a secret sauce because Mo Nibbly took everything. Is that beautiful, Tar? That is a beautiful dish. What do you think dish. something like this would go for as an appetizer? Oh, that's got to be a $16 app right there. Easily $16 app. Folks, gluten-free. This is a gluten-free product. Minus the mayonnaise. Gluten-free. Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip. You got it. Okay, what are we going to do next week? Oh, know, you're you not said, here next week. Oh, you said it's Brent Lundy's choice. Okay, my mouth is watering, Tar. i got to taste this. Hey, look it. Thanks to my mom, we got forks in the house again. Next week, we're doing Northern Pike. We got the great and talented Brent Lundy coming behind the camera. I'm going to let Brent Lundy pick a Northern Pike recipe. How's that? Maybe we can have the great and talented Axel and Findler come back. They're back in school. Oh, they're back in school. That's a ruckus. Oh, yeah. Look at this, Tom. Hot. Is that a tear coming from your eye? That is amazing. That is amazing. That's local fish. That has a natural... Oh, man. This is so amazing. Till next week, folks!